Hello, Dr. John here again. You've often heard me refer to gravity as being one of the major stresses that we're subject to from the time we're born till the time we graduate to the next world. Well, for the first few years of life, we wouldn't develop as, uh, as human beings without gravity because gravity is a major stimulus for our bodies to orientate ourselves to this world. It, it provides a stimulus so that we can adapt. But over time, gravity t attempts to break us down. So I, I came up with this term called the gorilla hand of gravity. Gravity is like a big gorilla hand that wants to pull your chin to your knees. You know, just compact you and compress you. You're sitting at a desk, you know, you're at a computer, you're driving. I'm leaning over patients. What can we do to counteract this? As, along with the adjustment, which optimizes nerve system and, and, and neurologic function by correction of the vertebral subluxation, what can we do to optimize it? Well, when I thought about it a lot, and if you look at trees in nature, the trees in nature, their root system is more profound on the windward side of the tree, the direction from where the wind comes from, the roots are stronger, okay? Also, if the tree is on a slope, the roots are more profound and deeper and more prolific because there's more stress, there's more uh, uh, strain on there, so you've got to adapt. That's what the roots do. They adapt to the, to the stress. The leeward side of the tree, you, the wind blows this way, this is the leeward side of the tree, the roots aren't as profound. That's why you'll find in the northeast, when we get a nor'easter, a lot of trees blow down because the winds prevail from the west. So our bodies are like the root system of a tree as well. You can vi envision the muscles on the back side of the body Everything from my Achilles, my ankle, to the base of my skull is all uh, considered the root system of the tree, the posterior chain, if you will. All the muscles on the back side, they serve as your root system, okay? The front side is the leeward side. So I, when I design a workout program, I design a workout program for people where it's a 2 to 1 or even a 3 to 1 ratio of exercises that activate the back as opposed to the front. Everybody wants to do crunches and bench presses. But the real core, the true core of your body is your hamstrings, your butt, your low back muscles, your traps, your lats. Your abdominals, believe it or not, are the least of it. They're there to balance things out. So here's a great exercise to help you strengthen your root system. It's called a pull down. Basically, you want to anchor a band, or if you have a pull down machine at the gym, you can do it there. But basically, I'm going to pull from above downward. I could kneel, I could, I could be here like so, and do it, okay, like in the gym. But the key thing I want to emphasize is that I'm, I'm not just pulling with my arms, I'm retracting, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades, and then I'm pulling through with the arms. And you notice too, when I do this, it's a smooth controlled motion. So if you're at a gym, don't use too much weight. You see people heaving at the end. You don't want to do that. So essentially, you could rig up a band just like I've done. And you're just going to pull down, just like so. About three to four seconds in each direction. Okay? You could even do them one-sided if you want. You could do that. This would be a pull down. Now if I were to have this wrapped around a base that's horizontal, I would do a horizontal row. Okay? Picture a horizontal row. That would be like so, but the idea is you just don't want to pull with your arms, you want to squeeze those shoulder blades. And by getting in this position, I'm working my legs, my lower back, because the lats, the muscles that do the pulling, anchor your rib cage to your pelvis. So this is one of the greatest exercises you can do if you're out of shape and you want to get stronger. Start with a pull down or a horizontal row and do them the rest of your life. It'll help you. Have a great day.